still having to go through some trials with this fight. People seem to be talking all this controversy about, you know, were you on testosterone? Did you use steroids? Did you fail a test? Is it frustrating that you're having to listen to all this? No, it's not frustrating at all because I test before the fight. The test never came out. It's just gossip. People just trying to make the old lion. You know, I think people get jealous when a guy of my age, you know, is destroying these people like they on the title shots, I think. And just the way it was, a lot of people was waiting for this fight to happen with Anderson, and I made a statement, you know, looking for another opponent. I think just the way I did it shocked the world, you know, and the way I look at it. But nobody knew what I went through the diet, you know, two months without eating carbohydrates. So I think when you look good, the tendency of people to judge you and, and, and criticize you is bigger. Because sell papers, you see, we're talking about this and have a great performance. So we're spending more time talking about a controversy than my performance. So I just, we're just waiting, you know, thing, nothing, come, nothing came on yet. So let's talk about the win. Wasn't my chin is still hurting. <laughs> yeah. You got kind of angry at the, uh, the press conference that day. Was, no, was, not was, angry was... at all, just pumped. Yeah. He got angry. He wants to fight there. I say, just wait, Saturday is your night. And he got it. You know, like, I'm a professional. I pump the fight, you know, I'm pumped. I never, I never cuss, I never say bad words. I just yell it, I'm a, I just raw, you know what I mean? You're in the jungle, man, what is to expect you? I'm not gonna kiss you. <laughs> let's, let's look ahead a little bit. There's talk of you and Rockhold. Is that a fight um, you're looking forward to, introducing the Strike Force champion into UFC? What I look for, I already made a statement in the fight. I'm looking for John Jones. What are you, buddy? That's what I'm looking for, you know. I don't, I don't think he, you know, he deserved a good chance. I, I deserved a rematch with him, so I think that's the fight. I'm looking for a super fight with him. If not him, you know, I'm looking to, to get to the, being a contender of my, my division. So but that's, nobody made a statement of that. And, and I think uh, the way I beat Bispin take me to very, very close to the, the contender shot. So let's see, wait and see what's going to be next. And I'm, I'm in my vacation. So I have two more days vacation. So I made, a, I made a set and I have people that take care of business for me today. You know, we have an office lawyer, my wife with the, them, they're taking care of it. So my job is just to train. So I just, before I come here, I was training for an hour and a half. So my job is to train and I don't pick fight, I accept fights. But it doesn't sound like you're all that thrilled about Rockhold. You're talking I, about. I, I don't pick fight. I accept fight, man. You know, I know I don't pick. I, even when I pick, I pick the big guy. Okay. I pick the big <laughs> shot. You know, I, I'm not scared of a man at all, man. I take anybody. I'm not a step stone for anybody. So I'll, I'll crush people, man. I'm so pumped. I'm so ready for whatever's next. Be ready because I'm gonna be super, super, super excited to go to get my goal. Man. Have you had a chance to talk to Dana yet and see if maybe he'd be open to giving you that fight with John uh, no, Jones? No, no. We. we, we and I didn't talk yet. I promised my team and I enjoy my vacation. You know, I enjoy, you know, it's just, you, gotta, you gotta, just gotta make boundaries, you know what I mean? If you don't make it, you just get through it, you know? So you have to enjoy it. So it's been almost two weeks that I fought. So after two weeks, we sit down and, and it's just make, because a lot of politics involved today. I don't believe a lot of fighters, they have my mentality. So I'm not gonna be just out there being a stepping stone for anybody. So I have a goal. I want to reach that goal. I want the title fight. You know, I want big fights. And, and that's what I want. I want big guys. You know, if I need to pick a fight, I will pick guys like they have the title, people that in the division that I can conquer. So I'm not scared of anybody, man. I'm ready to anything. Why do you think you, you deserve the rematch? Since you went back down to 185, why do you think you deserve a rematch? You, you guys know more statistics than myself. I'm not, I don't follow. So. In the 185 division, I just had one loss. It was for, for the Anderson Silva. And so I have, I, th I think it's eight fights. It's all knockouts and, sub and, and submissions. So I never had a, I never had a fight that went longer. So, so just, it's, it's hard to see how the fights is being matched. It's not my, it's not my duty to, I'm not judging anything, but I'm just seeing and I don't, I don't want to give my, my opinion because it doesn't make any sense. But my job is to train and fight, so it's hard. I just, I just think I like the, the, I like the shirt that, that, that Hoyce was saying. Was, was, I did it before it was cool. Yeah, so in, today it's a lot of guys just like they walk like they are the, 
it's so funny, man. They don't even talk to anybody. I see the guys, fighters treating guys, they, they, they work as a reporter or they work as a whatever. They treat them like a punk, you know what I mean? A lot of people say, man, that guy I don't like this. You know, I just, I, I respect everyone. So I earn respect, and I think in that weight division, I've been through everybody. You know, I like how I've been beating the best. And I just made a statement two weeks ago. So I'm ready, man. I just, but the politics, I'm not a political, I'm a fighter. So, so Vitor, if they offer you rock gold, you say you only accept, you I, don't call out. Will you accept that fight? I accept any fight, but just like this, I, don't, I, I need to know what this fight is going to take me because Right now, it's like people are taking fights and they go to the title fight without any, like, you know, like a lot of managers did under the table negotiating. That's how I see it. People are really picking fights. I remember when I met with Forrest Griffin, they say they offered me eight guys. The only guy I denied was you. So people are picking fights. And I don't, I don't pick. I just, I never like pick one fight in UFC like, no, I don't want to fight him. I want him. So right now I see this is happening. I don't agree with that because you don't, you don't, you don't. I, I believe in sport. You earn it. Like Super Bowl is tomorrow. They earn it. They don't pick. Oh, I want to. I want to go to the finals. You earn things. You know, I'm in the 185 division. I beat the second guy. I earned that place. It's especially the former was so. But that's how I think, but that's not how it is, you know. So I have manager, lawyers, they take care of the business. And my job is to accept, give me Kane. I say, give me Kane. You, so I talk to them and say, I give me this guy. You know, I just have to, I, I, want, I want John Jones. Just, I told them, so I want John Jones. So make it happen. So do you think a fight like Chael and uh, John I, Jones, come on, bro. that's bad? I, I forgot to bring my nose in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro. You know it. Everybody here know it. You, you seem to what do you think? He, he, what his last fight? How he lost it? Uh, TKO. How? Second round. Shame. What's shame? Like you know, like was destroyed, and he jumped right back to the title fight on the 205. He should go back to the 185 to fighting the guys that coming up again. You know, like he go back in the line. So, but that's not how it works. You seem to be very positive and always talking. I am. About, but with Chael, with that post-fight like interview. I like him. You seem to have a fire when you speak about him. Like he, his, his presence. I like doing, him. You like I, him? I, I like him. I think he's doing a great job. In, a clown. But he is. <laughs> <laughs> he is, man. He, he's great. You know, I think he's like, if you go to a Cirque, you, you laugh all the time with who? Who's the guy you laugh all the time? <laughs> the with the clown, man, you know? <laughs> so everybody laughs with Chael when he opens his mouth. And even when he talked about someone, you laugh, man. He's funny. I think he's a clown in that sense. Not that I like his personality. I think he's, he's one of the guys, like, by the way, I want to congratulate Fox. You guys do an amazing job. You know what I mean? Like, I see it the way you guys do it. I see everything, you know. I'm, I'm very into entertainment. I mean, I like that. So I see it. And he's doing a great job, fantastic job. I don't think he has time to train anymore. But I think he's doing it great. So, but in competition, I'm here, I'm talking as a competitor. You earn it. So do you think the ranking system will help your It has to have it, you know, it's time, man, you know? So, and how it works for her ranking system in fighting? If you have the fifth guy fighting with the number one guy, the fifth guy beat the one, number one guy, what he become? The fifth guy. So that's how it works in fighting. So I fought who? Who was the number one contender? So who won Bisping? So who should, you know, that's how it works, but that's not how it's working. So my job is to fight. So we're here talking about what's next. I don't care who's next. I will be ready. And I have my people negotiating. So I'm very fine, but I want John Jones next arm. I want his, his right arm, left arm. Some people <laughs> wondered why you wanted John Jones rematch instead of the Anderson Silva rematch. Because they already told me I couldn't. To fight Anderson, I need to knock four guys for three, four, or whatever. They already said that, so what am I going to do? You know what I mean? I'm not a bossy. You know, I accept the rules. It comes up high. The anointing never comes down, comes up. So you've got to respect. And I'm a very hardworking guy. I work for the organization. I'm an employee, and my job is to, to serve and to give to the fans what they want to see. And that's what I give them two weeks, you know, 
uh, go and I'm a guy that will be ready, man. Whatever they need me, they know, whatever. Not just inside the octagon, but outside as well.